Hello everyone. Welcome to RN Tutorials on Engineering Mechanics. So in this video lecture, uh, we are going to discuss about power transmission through belts and ropes. So in this uh, video, uh, first I would like to tell you about the belts. That is introduction to the belts which are used to transmit the power in industries. So first I would like to give the definition for the belt drives. So belt drive means it is a system which consists of uh, pulleys and belts over the pulleys the belts are connected so when the pulley rotates the belt also rotates another pulley so the system of uh, uh, that means the combination of uh, belts and pulleys for transmitting the power is called as belt drives here so we can give a proper statement for belt drives here in factories or industries the power is transmitted from one shaft to another shaft by belts or ropes which run over the pulleys so here belt or rope drives we can consider here this statement can be applicable to belt drives as well as the rope drives here so in industries uh, uh, if we want to transmit the power from one shaft to another shaft which are placed at different positions different locations uh, some distance apart we can use the belts uh, and pulleys the pulleys are connected over the shafts like uh, uh, i would like to show here so these are the two shafts considered which are placed at a particular distance from each other and if we want to transmit the power uh, in terms of rotation so here the power transmission means uh, that is in terms of rotation only so if we want to transmit the power which is in the form of rotation from this shaft to this first shaft to second shaft then we have to make use of uh, belts and pulleys that is belt drive system here so here on the first shaft one pulley is connected and similarly on the second shaft another pulley is connected so over the two pulleys here one belt uh, assume here before that pulley a and this is pulley b two different pulleys and over which a belt is connected okay so when this pulley a starts rotation so this pulley carries the belt uh, over it and this belt carries the pulley b okay like this the rotation rotational motion that is the rotary motion is transferred from one pulley to another pulley which in case we need to transfer the rotation from one shaft to another shaft here okay so assume this uh, pulley or shaft is rotating in this direction that means the uh, belt also will be uh, moving in this direction only right side direction so it will rotate in the same direction the pulley b also rotates in the same direction so this is an example of open belt drive so in an open belt drive uh, uh, the first pulley in whatever the direction it is rotating the second pulley also rotates in the same direction that we discuss in uh, uh, under classification so this is one system so in this we can say this pulley as a driver pulley a as a driver so why we are calling it as a driver means here we are transferring the power or rotary motion from this shaft to this shaft so when it rotates then only it rotates that means it is initiating the rotation so it becomes the driver okay so when it is driving so it will follow the rotation okay so when the shaft one drives the pulley then the pulley b also uh, uh, rotates by following the driver here so ultimately the pulley b can be called as a driven so which is uh, here pulley a is driver then the pulley b automatically we can call it as a driven or we can call it as follower okay so it is following the pulley a because the pulley a initiates the rotation that is the power transmission okay then through the belt we are transferring the power so that is the system which is the belt drive power transmitting system this entire combination we can call it as a system which is the belt drive power transmission system okay so like this we can understand how the power can be transmitted with the help of the belts here in the rope also same arrangement will be there we discuss in uh, uh, further videos so practically we can see the adjustment like this okay these are the two pillars larger and smaller and from this larger uh, uh, the power is transmitted to the smaller one here which is connected to the motor here the pulley a assume this is the pulley a which is connected to the motor so when it starts rotation this one also starts so this becomes a driver and this becomes a driven or follower okay so practically we can see the uh, arrangement like this okay that is about the belt drive system introduction so where it is used to transmit the power from one shaft to another shaft that is in the form of rotary motion okay
the next uh, i would like to discuss about the classification of the belts like types of belts here that means whatever the belts we are arranging over the pulleys there are different types are there according to the power transmission required and here there are mainly three types of belts which are used to transmit the power used for power transmission so first one is flat belt and second one is v belts and third one is circular belts okay these are the different cross sections are given to the belt to transmit the power from one shaft to another shaft like uh, high power and low power and moderate powers okay based upon the amount of the power we uh, would like to transmit so there are different types of cross sections are given for belts so we discuss one by one okay continuously here so assume flat belt drive so the arrangement will be assembly will be like this only okay so in this uh, if you are assuming the belt connected over the pulleys is a flat so when we take the cross sectional view for any one of the two pulleys over the belt so we can see the cross sectional view like this okay so this is the orange part represents the cross section of the flat belt that means your rectangular or square cross section may be given to the flat belt so it should be flat so when you are when you want to give the flat surface we need to maintain either rectangular or square cross section okay so like this uh, cross sectional shape will be given to the flat belts and these flat belts are used to transmit moderate powers that means uh, low powers for transmitting the a uh, small amount of the power we can use the flat belts and similarly these flat belts are used when the two pulleys are not more than 10 meters apart that means when the two pulleys or shafts when we want to transmit the power from one shaft to another shaft the distance in between the two shafts should be less than 10 meters okay in that conditions effectively we can use the flat belts without uh, failure and uh, without any disturbance uh, in the power transmission okay these are the two conditions uh, are maintained according to the cross section of the belt that is the flat belt okay for transmitting the moderate power and when the pulleys or shafts are not more than 10 meters apart and similarly v belts so the arrangement will be same again when you take the cross section the cross sectional v will be like this in the shape of v the belt is designed and the groove is made to the pulley okay over the pulley also v groove is given so over the v groove we can adjust the or we can assemble the v belt okay that is the cross section v cross section is given to the belt and as well as the pulleys also and here these are used to transmit the great amount of the power means here high power transmission for high power transmission v belts are used and similarly these uh, v belts are used when the two pulleys are very near to each other that means uh, when the two shafts are nearer to each other in that case if we want to transmit high amount of the power so in that case we can use the v belts okay and next similarly if you go for circular belts uh, again when you take the cross sectional view the cross sectional view will be like this a v groove is provided to the two pulleys so over the v groove uh, a circular cross sectional uh, belt is mounted so which is also used to transmit the greater amount of the power and the second one is when the two pulleys are not more than 5 meters apart sorry not more than more than 5 meters apart when the two pulleys are at larger distance or when the two shafts are at larger distance uh, to each other that means more than 5 meters apart then in that condition we can use the circular belts to transmit high amount of the power okay so based upon the different power transmission conditions there are different types of the cross sections are provided to the belt so based upon that we can uh, transmit low amount of power and greater amount of power and according to the distance between the two pulleys or shafts okay and next uh, types of bell drives so okay this is the system which will be consisting of number of pulleys and uh, bells here so there are mainly two types of bell drives based upon number of pulleys are used okay already I told you so based upon the number of pulleys there are two types of bell drives and first one is simple bell drive and second one is compound bell drive so in simple bell drive in simple bell drive it consists of only one driver one follower okay so the simple diagram we can take like this so if you consider this is a driver and this becomes a follower so it consists of one driver one follower okay that is simple bell drive and similarly compound compound bell drive means 
automatically we can say here we are particularly mentioning single driver single follower means here more than uh, one driver and one follower will maintain so we can uh, uh, show the arrangement like this okay now more than two police are maintained here okay this first one becomes the driver for this second larger one and then this uh, third smallest smaller pulley becomes the driver for this larger one okay that means here two drivers are there two driven are there so that means two drivers and two followers are there that is about the compound builder where more than uh, one driver uh, more than more than one driver and one follower are taking place so that is the compound bell rev okay that is about the classification of the bell rev systems here okay next we go for types of bell revs based upon belt mounting again uh, we can classify the bell rev systems based upon the uh, form of belt mounted over the two pulleys here okay so mainly again there are two types based upon belt mounted on the pulleys so first one is we can call it as open belt drive and second one is we can call it as cross belt drive so in open belt drive that is the normal belt drive we can uh, we we'll use to take the example for understanding okay the belt is connected over the two pulleys like this like open okay this is the open belt configuration okay so if a if we assume driver automatically b becomes follower and next uh, this uh, belt side is called as tight side of the belt so why you are calling it as tight side of the belt means here when the driver a starts rotation this a pulley carries the belt in this direction okay in this condition it will try to pull the uh, belt towards uh, it's it's uh, movement so that it maintains certain tightness in this direction so for that it is called as tight side of the belt and uh, this side is called as slack side of the belt here so this is tight means automatically this becomes the slack side of the belt okay and next we can take the cross belt drive so the configuration is provided like this uh, like a cross mark the belt is mounted over the two pulleys okay so when this rotate is here the direction of the rotation is opposite to each other when it is rotating anti clockwise it is rotating clockwise direction but here when you consider the open bell row when it is rotating in anti clockwise this one is also rotating in anti clockwise only so there is a difference between open bell row and cross bell row and here if you consider again uh, pulley a as driver then the pulley b becomes follower so when it is trying to rotate in this direction anti clockwise this belt side uh, will face more stress in it so automatically this becomes the tight so the opposite side becomes again slack side okay na? so like this we can configure the open bell rev and cross bell rev systems that is about the classification of the bell revs so okay based upon the different situations for transmitting the power from one shaft to another shaft we can use any one of these two bell revs okay so that is about the bell revs introduction i hope you understand about the bell revs and the classification of the bells and the classification of the bell revs and once again thanks for watching my video thank you all if you have still any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video and uh, and don't forget to subscribe thank you all